Franklin woman is dead. Her ex-husband just went before a judge. Prosecutors say he attacked her and then set her home on fire. The DA says the woman's mother ran to a neighbor for help while that ex-husband was attacking her daughter. Police were there in minutes, but it was too late. WBZ's Christina Hager is live at Rentham District Court. Christina, the victim had a restraining order against the ex. And Lisa, now Brendan Owen faces five serious charges, murder, kidnapping, arson, and assault and battery. The prosecutor in court here says he went to his ex-wife's home this morning dressed in all in black with a checklist. He allegedly beat and bound her elderly mother who managed to escape and run to a neighbor for help. 47-year-old Brendan Owen heading into Rentham Court at the end of a tragic day accused of killing his ex-wife, 49-year-old Shirley Owen. Reported a uh, possible structure fire at that domestic suspect port in gasoline, 748. It started with a 911 call from a neighbor, the victim's elderly mother saying her daughter's estranged husband had beaten her. They were told that it appeared to be physical in nature and may involve some, uh, some blunt force. And the house was on fire. We have smoke showing, smoke showing. Seaside, heavy smoke showing. Neighbors say Brendan Owen had a hammer in his hand. They saw him run, but police blocked him. Franklin police were then able to, with the use of uh, a taser, non -lethal, lethal force, uh, bring Mr. Owens into custody. The victim had taken out a restraining order against him years ago, which he was accused of violating twice. They found her in an area between the house and the the uh, garage area, they attempted um, emergency measures to try to resuscitate her. When they found her, she was unresponsive, and there was clear evidence of blunt force trauma. In his pocket, police say they found three handwritten notes, one to his mother, one to his children, also the victim's children, and another, a handwritten checklist that included a light, uh, lighter and lighter fluid. And by the way, this is the first murder case in Franklin in 25 years. At Rentham District Court, Christina Hager, WBZ News.